Place here, and today we are going to be reviewing the new cards from The Fractured in Alterac Valley. And we're also going to be looking at the cinematic trailer as well, alongside chat who are above me. As you can see, everyone's saying hi. So, without further ado, let's go. The land is still the powder, fresh, almost feels like the valley is holding its breath. On your ranks, we will not give. With axe and club and thunder blood, we'll die before we leave. When comes, it's time to fight. What oh. the flag of victory as we prove our might. Raise your voice for Alter Just remember, oh, never fall back. Never fall back. Hold the bridge, push the ridge. Never fall back. Wow. First card we have is Fellwalker. So this is all the Warlock cards. So it's a six mana free seven. Very shit stats. It's a taunt though. And the battle cry is cast the highest cost fell spell from your hand. What do you reckon? So this is all from arena perspective, by the way. So we're not considering wild standard duels and all of those other modes that no one plays anymore. We're only focusing on arena. So we have to think about the impact this has. <laughs> Miko says one out of five stars. Ooh. Got to review the foul spells coming in next rotation. That's a good point as well. I can see we have a couple coming later. I think if you have a fell spell in your hand, this could be pretty decent. Like even if you have fell barrage, right? That's actually quite nice to like trigger. Because you can play this plus maybe clear a couple of minions away. Um, I don't think it's super amazing though because it does require that synergy. I, I hate forcing synergy in arena. I'm gonna give it two out of five stars. I think it's a little lackluster but it can get you out of sticky situations in some cases. That's just my two cents on it. So next one we have is a free mana spell called Desecrated Graveyards. At the end of your turn, destroy your lowest attack minion to summon a four force shade and it lasts three turns. Wait, what? At the end of your turn, destroy your lowest attack minion to summon a four force shade which lasts three turns. So you're saying at the end of your next three turns, you get a 4-4 four, four sh shade by destroying your lowest attack minion. Is that what that means? I'm sorry, I'm a bit dumb, chat. So I'm not sure. <laughs> that's crazy if you've got tokens to support it. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Warlock are known for like all the little imps and so forth. So this could be really good if you manage to get that synergy. However, if you draft like a big warlock deck, this could really bite you in the ass. Let's be real. So it really depends what deck you have. I think these are kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool though. I think in the right deck, it would be like a four star card, but I'm gonna say it's a three star card because again, if it's in the wrong deck, it, 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 it's still okay, but it's not amazing, right? Okay, so this is one of the fell spells uh, we're talking about. Free mana spell, full-blown evil, okay? Uh, deal five damage, randomly split among all enemy minions. Repeatable this turn? What? Huh? What do you mean repeatable this turn? Does it just repeat itself? Why doesn't it just say repeat this turn? Or is it like a chance? 
Oh, it's an echo. Why doesn't it say echo? <laughs> that free mana fire mage spell with echo, but kind of better because this is enemy minions, right? The mage one is um, just enemies, and obviously with enemies, it's a le uh, just a little less predictable, right? So this is actually really good, I think. I'd give this four stars. I think this is pretty solid. They already did this before with Witch's Brew. They left Echo Keyword behind it. Oh yeah, I remember that card. That was really annoying. Echoes to restrictions that like, can't be reduced below one mana. This one can. Ah, I see, I see. That makes sense. Yeah, minions make it a hundred times better. If it was... If it was like the mage one, it would be much worse. But I would say four out of five. Like I feel like you can, you can, you know, you can trade the way you want and center certain minions so you make sure it hits the ones you want. That's what I really like about this. And yeah, <laughs> imagine like deal. Yeah, imagine you have ten mana, and your opponent has no minions, and this actually hit the enemy face. That would be a bit scary, right? So yeah, four out of five. I think pretty solid. No body, but way more f flexible set than Shavara. Absolutely. Like, there's nothing worse than Shavara, like, killing your minions all the time. So annoying. Okay, so next one we have is the Grave Defiler. So it's a one mana, two, one minion. Battle cry, copy a fell spell in your hands. <laughs> all right, so with the copy a fell spell, I actually kind of like it. I think if you have fell spells, it's okay. But like even if you don't, it's a one mana two one, which I guess is not amazing, but it's something, right? I do two stars because I feel like you won't pick this card unless you have a decent amount of foul spells. I'm being generous and giving it two stars, I think. Cause if you do manage to hit a foul spell, this could be pretty powerful. You don't think this is draftable though? It's a one mana two one unless spells are often offered. Yeah, this is like one of those cards that you'd only take if you've already got like three plus fell spells right if you don't then you just don't take it like then it's quite crap then it'd be like one star but if you have quite a few fell spells then i i would say it's a two star Alrighty. next warlock spell we have is another fell one uh it's two mana seeds of destruction uh shuffle four rifts into your deck they summon a free free dread imp when drawn Okay, so let's have a look what the foul Rift looks like. Ooh, that looks cool. Wow, he's a very hairy imp. He needs to get some shaving cream. And that is the little dread imp. I don't like this as a spell. You know, so let's compare it to um, what should we call it? You know that rogue card, the 4-4 the, uh, four, four that puts spiders into your deck? And then there's also the ticket master that puts free spells into your deck. And when you draw them, you get free free on boards. Think of it that way. Now, if this was attached to a minion, I'd be happy. But I, I just, I don't like, I, it doesn't do anything, you know? The only thing is, right, with Warlock, you have taps. You're more likely to see these cards, but still... It's not my cup of tea, I'll be honest with you. I would say a very low two, almost one star. The thing is, it's not, like, if you do it early, fair enough, but it's not going to save you if you're in a pinch, the way that I see it. Yeah, wait, so, someone needs to get the, the imp a razor for Christmas, I think, Gary. It's bad, but my opponents still high roll it. True. It, it's guaranteed your opponent's going to high roll it, right? Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty, next fell spell. So this this one's a five mana fell spell. Fell fire in the hole. That is not what she wants to hear. But let's have a look. So draw a spell and deal two damage to all enemies. If it's a fell spell, deal one more. So it's kind of like a Nova without heal. <laughs> um, but could potentially be free damage if you draw a fell spell it's it's so okay. it's very expensive right i'm not a, I, I don't like it i prefer hellfire i prefer um that free mana spell that deals two damage to everything that shuffles fragments into your deck 
that I really, really cannot remember the name of. You also have Fire Breaver as well, the four mana, four free, that deals two damage to everything other than demons. I think they're just much better AoE out there. So in my opinion, this is like a two star card. Yeah, a lot of these are very conditional. I agree, Siren. I think free fire just because it's good value and can clear but the breakpoints don't go out. Yeah. Two out of five. Like, I think I think it's very weak compared to other AoE there is. Like, if we don't have the other forms of AoE, then this does go up to a free. But as it stands, I would take almost anything over this. Oh, it does draw a spell. That's true. I didn't think that. I didn't. I, I forgot about that. Hold on. I draw a spell. Oh, crap. Yeah, it draws a spell. Well, oh, my gosh, chat. I'm tired, okay? As you can tell, I'm a professional. I read cards properly. I totally saw that. And I meant it's two out of five stars if it didn't draw a spell. But because it does draw a spell and deals two damage, it's definitely a free star card. Uh, so we got a free mana, free, free, sacrificial summoner. Battle cry, destroy a friendly minion, summon a minion from your deck that costs one more. Ooh, it's good with eggs. So say you have like a Nerubian egg on board, you can destroy that and then get a free cost minion on your board. That's an example I can think of right now. It looks okay. Now... Yeah, it's it's okay. I don't know. Don't like it? You lose the battle cry? Yeah, if you just play it as a free free, it's very crap, right? Hopefully we don't get offered it too much because you know you know what arena's like. Sometimes they go through those phases where they're like, Mom, I only want to offer epic cards. And then you get all of these horrible epic cards and then draft is an absolute nightmare. Yeah, you play for the statue on board, I agree. I think this is a two. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan. Although this could work with like, um, what's it called? You know, like the 6-6, six, six, like the 6-mana six 1-1 one, one that summons a 6-6. Six, six? That could work with like cards like that. But I think you have to play it off with different cards, right? You can't just play it on its own. Yeah, it, it really depends what you eat. It's too situational. <laughs> the retub scores. Yeah. <laughs> you can just hear all the voiceovers. Yeah, I think this this has to be like a two out of five, right? I, I don't think it's any better than that. Yeah, very hard to set up, I think. So next one we have is a four mana legendary spell called Tasmin's Phylactery. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Um, and it's a shadow spell. Discover a friendly death rattle minion that died this game. Give your minions its death rattle. It's a very crazy win more card, but this card could actually kind of go insane. I, oh my god, imagine this in like a very like zooish deck. Because you only need like one death rattle to die to pull this off, right? Oh my god, this would this will ruin some people, I think. Imagine playing like a bunch of imps and then playing this. Absolutely weird. I think Yeah, exactly, Dorso. You could do stuff like that. I think it is very situational as well. I'm gonna say 2.5 out of 5. Because I do see the potential in this card. But you need, I think you need a decent amount of death roll cards. You need to make sure you're still on board. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to do, Zyron. Like, I'm not a fan of cards like that. So that's why it's like a 2.5 out of 5. I think it's okay-ish. But it can be mad in certain scenarios. Okay, so I don't know if we're going to get these in Arena. I don't think... We don't usually get portraits in Arena, but sometimes you can discover them. And Dawson says you can get a whole board of the Owl Death Row the deals. Oh no, don't don't remind me of that card. That's going to come up later and I'm still going to cry when I see that. Oh, is it off Discovers and not Draft? That's still... Yeah, it's still deep. It's still scary though. Yeah, Swashburger could probably give you this. So it's a six mana hero portrait. Dreadlich... Uh, Tamsin 
Battle cry, deal three damage to all minions, shuffle three rifts into your deck, draw three cards. I think this is really good so far. So the Fell Rift is a 3-3 free, free imp, so it's the hairy imps again. Uh, your hero power is shuffle a rift into your deck, draw a card. I think that's pretty strong. And yeah, drawing three cards as well. Like, I think this is pretty decent. This is very strong, chat. I think this is easily a high four out of five. This is crazy, I think. I like this card, chat. I think this is an easy four out of five. Like, it's AoE, draws you cards, gives you some rifts as well. And it does the rifts before drawing the cards. So you have a potential of getting some rifts on your board as well. By the way, you can give your whole board pro the Drake Death Rail God. <laughs> awesome. You're just like giving way too many ideas and I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. All hero cards are stupid in arena. Five out of five, no questions. Okay, fair, fair. Why four out of five? Because I'm being very harsh, okay? I'm being very harsh. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it probably is a 5 out of 5. I'm just being very picky. Alright, next one. So we have a 5 mana 2-8 minion. It's a it's a common. Hollow Abomination. Ah, oh, look at him with his little chainy arm. Uh, Battle Cry, deal 1 damage to all enemy minions. Honorable Kill, gain the minion's attack. So basically, if you don't know what Honorable Kill is, if you deal the exact lethal damage on your turn... Yeah, sorry, so if you deal the exact lethal damage on your turn, then you get like a little bonus. So if you're, uh, so if the minion on board has one health, then this will activate the honorable kill. So as long as you deal the exact damage, you will get that, which I think is very nutty. You think 5 out of 5? I'm going to say 4 out of 5 just because it does require to have... Uh, it does require for your opponent's minions to be on 1 health, right? It's very close to 5, but I think there are still some cards that are just a little bit better than this. And it's not a taunt either, like it's just a minion. Kill an 8-1 and already 5 mana insane stats. 1 mana... Uh, yeah, no, that's fair, Dawson. That's really fair. Oh shit, yeah, it has 8 health, doesn't it? But I think it's very situational to get like certain minions down to one health <laughs> i know i'm sorry i'm tired i keep misreading the cards and i don't know why <laughs> i still think it's a four out of five fight me uh so the next thing we have is a four mana spell flank and maneuver uh summon a four two demon with rush if it dies this turn summon another Huh. And does this, like, keep going? That card is better than any card existing now. Hmm, I don't know. I think this card's kind of insane. That is actually BS, yeah. I don't like this card. So summon a 4 Demon Rush. If it dies this turn, summon another. Does that just chain? Because if that keeps chaining, that's insane. If it's only once, then sure. But if this chains, it's like an easy 5 out of 5, right? No, only once. Okay, then it's a 4 out of 5. But it's still kind of insane. Yeah, it just summons once. 4 out of 5. Yeah. I wanted to double check that. Because I feel like some people may misinterpret this card. But it's still very, very strong. It's incredibly strong. This set already looks insane. Like, I don't know, I... I could already see people's brain going, nope. This is what I mean by insane increase in power level for Arena. Yeah, this is literally the Sense of Dragons 2.0, right? It's just even more powerful. It's crazy. Alright, next one we have is a minion, so 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. Battle Worn Vanguard. After your hero attacks, summon two 1-1 one, one Fell Wings. I love that. That's really cute. And the thing is, you don't play this on turn two, right? You play this on turn three alongside your hero power. So for on for three mana, you get what well, two mana? You you get like four four in stats spreads, 
I think this is okay. And Dawson says, this is basically going to be a Skullman's Alter Egg meta. The other cards will just be mediocre, except for a few slight ones. Yeah, that's the thing, right? There's so many... Like, I heard, like, Kobolds and Catacombs are coming back, and some other cards as well. And it's just, like... They just don't add up. Just let us have the sense of dragons again. Just if you if you want an insane meta, just give us all of the insane deck. Give us all of the insane sets, and then see how many arena streamers quit before you decide to balance it again. It'd be really funny. Um, no, no, <laughs> but yeah, no. I, I'm just still salty. The sense of dragons isn't coming back. Anyway. Uh, wait, what am, I, what am I rating this? Uh, three stars. I think it's pretty good. And Gary says, yeah, the power level is so stark these days. I read a thread on Reddit Arena talking about whether old sets should just be banned. Interesting point, Tolson. True, but, like, I like the randomness. I love the randomness of, um, having old sets occasionally. But it does make it harder, um, to compare if somebody gets a much better deck you know i feel like there should be two modes of hearthstone arena i think there should be one for standard sets and then another arena with all of the cards and i think that would be really fun so kind of like a wild and standard arena like unfortunately i don't think we have enough people that play arena for that to be a viable thing but I, I'm pretty sure I would just be playing wild all the time if it was me. But I, I don't know. Anyway, next one. Next card we have is another portrait. So six mana, Curtis the Demon Render. He looks really handsome. Look at him, his swords. So Battle Cry summon two one four demons with Rush. Improved by your hero attacks this game. Okay. So Ashfallen's Fury. So this is the hero power. Plus two attack this turn. After a friendly minion attacks, refresh this. Oh god, this requires too much brain power. <laughs> so you need to activate it. Attack with a minion, activate it. And the fact that you get the 1-4 Demons of Rush as well is actually really bonkers. And this is the little Felbat Shriekers. Don't they look pleasant? Yeah... Again, another very insane portrait. I can't give this more than 4 out of 5 because I gave the other one 4 out of 5. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the comparison is insane. I, I, I do agree with that. It makes the context of Rent with the quest will reign supreme and now you have to own the heroes. Yeah. I don't know, it's just bonkers. Uh, next card we have is a Fell Spells, a 5 mana spell, Sigil of Reckoning. So at the start of your next turn, summon a random demon from your hand. If it was at the end of your turn, I wouldn't mind it because then you'd be able to attack with that minion next turn. But if it's like at the start of your next turn, I don't like it. And it depends on the demons, right? Yeah, I think it's 1 out of 5 for Arena. This is actually quite atrocious. You'd have to draft around it, and it's not viable, I don't think. Yeah, first crap card we've seen, I think. Alrighty, next card. This card's bad, I give it a zero, says so. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute zero, I actually agree. It's just, it's, I think sometimes you get lucky with the pull, but even so, it's just, nah. Alrighty, we have a 13 mana card, Urzul Giants, 8-8, eight, eight, Demon. Costs one less for each friendly minion that died this game. That is stupidly cheap for Arena. Like, like with Demon Hunter, you have, like, Illidari, you have so many cheap things. That's insane. I think it's a 4 out of 5 as well, Dawson. You can make this so cheap. And like, you have to remember, Demon Hunter has a lot of draw potential as well. So you can always draw to keep filling up your boards with more small things to get this down. It's just stupid. Works with a new 2-2, two -two? yeah. Oh, it definitely works with that card, this one. That's actually crazy. 
Very good reload of your board gets cleared too. Yeah, I agree. The fact that the minions don't have to die while it's in hand makes it so good. Yeah, if they had to die in your own hands, then it's crappier, right? But because it's wherever, then it's so much better. One mana, one free weapon. Dead Prison Glaive? Honorable kill, deal damage equal to your hero's attack to the enemy hero. It's okay. I like it. It clears up some 1-1s, one maybe two health minions as well. Um, the extra damage to the face is really fun. I like it. I think it's a 3 out of 5. I think it's pretty decent. It's very good if you have a very aggressive deck, I think. That is a lot. Very good tempo card to clear early bolt. Yeah, I really enjoy this. Really strong, says Zyron. Yeah, I think this is an easy... This is a very strong free. Very, very strong. I quite like this. Alrighty, next card. Uh, two mana spell. Field of Strife. That's why I call my flat. Um, so your minions have plus one attack last three turns. So for the next three turns, your minions... Regardless of whether you play them this turn or the next turn or on the third turn, they will have plus one attack. So yeah, this is actually kind of like a longer last in Savage Roar in a sense, isn't it? So this is very aggressive. Still don't know how I feel about it. But the fact that it's, so, it's actually quite cheap, like it's only two mana, it doesn't make it too bad. I don't really like this, but maybe it's okay if I just don't get it. Well, Gar think of it this way, Gary. You played this offhandedly on one of your turns, and then imagine, as Dawson says, next turn you play performers. All of those performers next turn will be like 2-1 rushes. Think, Kind of think of it in that context, with like all the rush minions and so forth. The fact that it car carries on for three turns, uh, the fact that it banks it is so strong. Performers won't be in, true, but like there are also other cards, right? You have like the Illidari, you have other rushes. I think this is still okay. And also with Skolomance, you have to remember spells are going to be vital because of spell burst. So this is even worth picking just so you can pull off the spell burst synergy. Just my luck, you'll top deck it with no board, but the thing is you can just play it, right? And then develop a board next turn. I still think it's not amazing. I think I'd still give it like two stars. It really depends on your deck. If you have a great zoo tempo deck, then obviously three stars. But for any other deck, I'd say two stars. But I, 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 I actually do stand with this card. I think it depends on the meta, depends on your deck, depends on your board state, right? Yeah, two stars. Yeah, it's a very nice upside with Demon Hunter. I agree. Okie dokes, you have a legendary called Carrier Felsoul. Oh, I love her weapons. So it's a 6 mana 6-6 six, six, battle cry transform into a 6-6 six, six copy of a demon in your deck. I think most of the times this is just going to be a 6-6, six, six, right? <laughs> What's the juicy demons? Um, Honestly, there's not going to be many great demons. I think this is going to just be a 6 mana 6-6. Six, six. Oh yeah, Void Hound, but that's an that's an epic though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna say two out of five just for the stats alone. I think a lot of times it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be crappy, right? Right. So Wooden Chain. So if you don't have a, if you don't have a demon that costs five or more, it's a four mana two six taunt, very air. Like on that on that case, it would be like a two star. If you actually have the demon though, it'd be a four mana. 3-8, which is actually pretty okay. If you remember correctly, there's actually currently a taunt in Arena right now that's a 6 mana 3-8. The card isn't very... I think it's a little situational. I don't think it could be absolutely awful, but I don't think there's enough big demons to pull this off, right? I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go 2.5 stars. Again, depends on your draft, depends on your deck. Cool cool art though, I agree. Alrighty, next card we have is a 3 mana 1-6 flag runner. Whenever a friendly minion dies, gain plus 1 attack. Oh. There's, there's, 
remember that card that Warlock used to have? The free mana won five and it gained plus one attack every time a friendly minion died. Do you remember how annoying that was? This is that with one more health. That's crazy. That is extremely annoying, extremely ugh. I think it's good, whatever, because like it's gonna be so hard to just kill this off. This is a four out of five for me. Easy. Just because I remember that card. And I have like really horrible flashbacks to it. Do you mean Shadow Council the buffed when a minion was played? No, not Shadow Council. So there's a card that's like free it's a it's a free mana warlock card. And it's a 1-5, and every time a friendly minion died, it gained plus one attack. I'm, I'm not going crazy, right? There is a card like that. It's a wild card. It's Warlock. And it's... Free mana. That's it! Councilman! Oh, it's summon a minion. Okay, I was I was lying. I'm, I'm lying. That's when you summon a minion. But it's still kind of the same thing, right? It's still pretty good. Okay, maybe Councilman's a little bit better, but still, it's still very strong. Anyway, anyway, next card we have is a free mana spell, Heart of the Wild, give a minion, plus two, plus two, and then give your beast plus one, plus one. Gives beast means these on board. Yeah, it has to be, I think it has to be on board, right? Pile of crap, yeah, I agree. I'll give this a one star, I'm not happy with it. I think we can all agree on that. All right, next card is the Pride Seeker. Uh, three mana, two, four, battle cry. Your next choose one card costs two less. Eh, it's okay. At least you don't have to play the, the choose one card that turn, right? It's like whenever you draw one. So I, I would say, because the stats alone aren't really great either. Is Fishy Flyer coming back? I can't remember if Fishy Flyer is with Skullamance. Because if it is, this card's going to be very easy to value trade into. Yeah, that, that's Skullamance. Yeah, Fishy is back. Mm. I'm going to give it a 2.5. I, I like the fact that the choose one cards are reduced. But I don't know, they're not usually amazing, aren't they? I never seem to have many choose one cards. Uh, 4 mana 2, 5, rush. Your minions have honourable kill. Summon a 2, 2, wy wyvern with rush. That's cool. I like that. So your minions have honourable kill. So not just this, but any other minions. I think this is alright. I'd say like a 3 out of 5. Like, this could get really annoying, but again, depends on the stats are on a board, depends on what minions you have, depends on the minions your opponent has. Could be very iffy. It could be a great comeback card, though, if you're very smart. If you're big brain, like Jummy, I think you can pull this off really well. Yeah, it's not super proactive, right? I, I, I would honestly say three stars, personally. Because I think it could be a good comeback card. But other than that, eh. Right, next one. Uh, next card, two mana, two, three. Uh, Claw Fury, a debt. So it's a beast. Battle cry, give all other friendly characters plus one attack this turn. I love this. This is like a savage roar on a stick. There's another card that gives plus one attack, not plus two card, but I can't remember what it's called. So I just keep saying savage roar. I think this is a very nutty teardrop. You think this is a five? I'd say a four. But very close. I, I think it's a very, very, very good card. This is something you're definitely going to want to draw. This is definitely something that's just going to give that little extra push for lethal, which is something Druid really needs. I think it's incredibly strong. Yeah, exactly, negative one. Yeah, and it's your friendly characters. So even if you uh, even if you just want to ping a minion, right? Someone played a 2-1 on their turn one. It's now your turn two. You play this and you can just ping off the 2-1 and you developed a 2-3. Even plays like that make this card quite strong. So it's definitely a four-star card. 
I like this card a lot. It's definitely going to be played. So that, yeah, I need to remember so the store. I think it's because it's such a new card, I forget about it. I only strain for five because it's not something that insta wins you the game from top decks. It's like, yeah, exactly, Dawson. That's why it's not a five for me either. But I think it's still very, very close though. Okay, three mana, three, four, the puff maker. Oh my gosh, I love the art on this. She looks so pretty. Anyway, battle cry, cast the other choice from the last choose one spell you've cast. Oh gods, that's gonna require memory, right? <laughs> Imagine, I, not only do you have to remember what last choose one card you played, you have to remember which one you picked. Yeah, it has vanilla stats, it has a little bit of an upside. I think it's a 3 out of 5, I think it's pretty good. And um, I just like this card art. I'm just trying to think, It look, she looks like from a video game, but I can't remember which one. Yeah. Really, really, really like that. Yeah, exactly, Monty Hiss. Uh, not a good card for players with dementia or players who have a very bad short term memory like myself. Right, let's go. <laughs> All right, next card we have is a two mana spell. Uh, capture Cold Tooth Mine. Choose one, draw your lowest cost card or draw your highest cost card. I like that. I don't know how I feel about drawing... Um, I don't know how I feel like drawing one card for two mana, but the fact that it singles it to your lowest, to your highest, could help a little bit. But I still don't think it's that great. I'd say it's a 1.5. The only reason it's not just a one star card is because it does single out your late game. And sometimes you need to draw your late game to win a game, right? Like Dawson says, if you have an Isera in your deck, you're going to want to draw that late game card. You're going to want to draw that Isera. But in, yeah, it's just... Ugh. I prefer my highest draw to two random ones, yeah. But most of the times it's worse. Yeah, exactly. Thing is, right, if you have three eight mana cards, it's gonna, it's still going to be random which eight mana card it's going to be. That's the way that I see it. That's the way that I'm kind of like perceiving it. So that's why I say 1.5 stars. Right, next one we have is some puppies. Aww. Three mana spell, frost wolf kennels. At the end of your turn, summon a 2-2 two, two wolf. Re Ugh. At the end of your turn, summon a 2-2 two, two wolf with stealth last three turns. Uh, see, now if it was like summon a 3-3 free, free at the end of your turn for the next three turns, it'd be fine. I don't know how impactful a 2-2 with stealth is. I don't know. It's just like one of those cards I'm not particularly sure about. Like it helps a little bit, but I think I'd give this a 2 star. I, I'm not a fan. Yeah, it's not super amazing. It's very, it's very air. It's a very good card though if you are planning to ramp up next turn. So say, for example, you are thinking of doing a full board buff. This could help you achieve that, right? But most of the time, it's a bit dick. Boost the other turns by taking a slower turn first. Yeah. But I think it's still... I, I don't... The thing is, right, I play a lot of druids. And I don't like losing momentum. And I feel like you lose momentum with this. And that's why I'm very sceptical of it. Alrighty. Next card we have is 7 mana 4-5. Frost Saber uh, Matriarch. It's a taunt and it costs one less for each beast you summoned this game. It's not great, in it? Like you'd you'd need to like play three beasts before this is any good. I'm gonna give this a two star. Because I think in certain decks you could pull this off. But I'm not I, I'm meh. Yeah, exactly. Free beasts to make it a circus amalgam. I think this card will be okay, but I don't think, I can't see it being insane. Okay, next card we have is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four, Dire Frost Wolf. Stealth, Death Rail, summon a 2-2 two, two wolf with stealth. Aww. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Look how cute that is! That's so sweet! I love that! Oh, chat. 
I, I, I'm going to give it a free. Five for art, but free for actual functionality. <laughs> Snow Flipper has a challenger. I'm sorry, that is adorable. I may actually prefer that over Snow Flipper. I'm sorry. And yeah, exactly, Dino. That's two cards for the other card we just saw as well. I don't know. Like, four mana, four, four. And then it dies to Fishy, right? But then you do get a 2-2, two, two, so still pretty okay. I say free. Yeah, no, I still say free. I feel like it just needs a little bit extra to add it to... Oh, shit, yeah, his stealth. Okay, this is why I need a chat, okay? This is why I need a chat. Okay, 3.5. I think this is really, really good. I like this card a lot. We're probably going to see it quite a bit. Well, if, if we actually get offered it. I'll definitely be picking it quite often. Also, the cover's untargetable, except by people with no soul. <laughs> True. I swear, every time someone kills off my wolf cub, I'm going to be very sad. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Imagine playing Hearthstone and having a soul. Don't call me out like that, Dymo. Anyway, next one we have is a uh, five mana portrait, World Heart Guff. Battle cry, set your maximum mana to 20. Gain a mana crystal, draw a card, okay? So hero power is choose one, draw a card, or gain a mana crystal. Um, and these are the art for that. Uh, sure? Yeah, like, I feel like 20 mana just doesn't really do much for us right it's not really an arena portrait still okay though but i think i'd miss the old he hero power i'd say three out of five stars like there there are much better ones than this one at the moment right so two mana frost secret when your opponent casts a spell, return it to their hand instead. It costs one more. <laughs> I love that. That is so annoying. This will be fun on Flamestrike. I love that a lot. And you know they have Flamestrike as well, so you can play around it too. That's that's a good example. I I think that's a that's really funny. You have to compare it to Counterspell though, right? Would you prefer Counterspell or would you prefer this? That's the way I'm trying to compare it so I know if it's going to be any good or not. And then you obviously have to look at the mana difference as well. It's much worse than Counter though, yeah. The thing is, like, your opponent still gets to keep that spell, right? Um, I'm going to give it two stars. It's not amazing. It's a very funny card though, I like it. It's, like I said, it's not amazing, especially in a Scholomans meta. Like, I'd much rather Counterspell over this, right? But it's still um, a really annoying card for your opponent to deal with. So that's why it's two and not one. Okay. Next card we have is this beautiful Ram. The art's been really fun, this set. So it's a four mana, four free, Stormpike Battle Ram Rush. Deathrattle, your next beast costs two less. So not this turn, it can be whenever you want to play the beast. So I actually really enjoy this. Not as good as Fishy Flyer, but I think this card's still pretty decent. Um, if there's quite a few beasts in the meta, I think this could be a really good way to cheat out certain beasts. Like um, someone said, uh, what's it called? Violet Worm's back. Imagine this dying and then on turn six, you can play a Violet Worm. Wow, this is wow, that's definitely a chonk. Wait, Proto Drake's back? Oh, gods. Oh, do not miss that card at all. Yeah, I actually quite like this. I think it's a three star card, I think it's pretty decent. All right, next one seven mana card. Oh my god, Mountain Bear. All right, seven mana, five, six, taunt. And Deathrattle some t summon two two four cubs with taunt. The thing is, right, for the mana cost, you're thinking, ooh, the stats. But this is really, really, really annoying for your opponent. Because not only do you have to get through the first half, but then you have, like, 
two more taunts. And the thing is, four health is actually quite annoying as well. Oh, the wolf cub is still cuter, but this is still cute. I'll <laughs> be murdering those cubs. <laughs> oh gosh, Peter's going to be on our ass soon, I swear. Yeah, compare this with safeguards. Like, there's no competition, right? I think this is a four-star card. I think this is really, really good. I think this is super annoying. Give you the cubs over the kittens. <gasps> but the kittens are so cute. Yeah. I think this is an easy four-star. I think this card's going to be super annoying to deal with. I really enjoy it. He looks badass. So, you know, easy peasy. All right. Oh my God, there's a lot of things here. Um, so six mana portrait, Beast Stalker Tavish. Battlecry, discover, and cast two improved secrets. Okay, so let's have a look at the improved secrets. So improved explosive is deal three damage to all enemies instead of two. Improved freezing is the minion costs four more. Okay. Um, improved snake trap is summon three two two snakes. Uh, improved pack tactics is summon two free free copies. Improved open the cages is summon two animal companions instead of one. Improved ice trap is the spell that puts goes back into their hand costs two more. Right, and the hero power is summon um, animal companion, which we all know and love. Um, right, like it like we said before, this is very 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 unlikely to be an arena, but there's a very good chance we may be able to discover it. So with that being said, five stars. <laughs> I actually think this one's really insane. Like the, the fact that you can discover two improved secrets and the improved secrets insane, especially that freezing trap. If you hit that freezing trap, that is actually disgusting. It costs four more. If your opponent has a seven or higher cost minion on board and they play into that freezing trap, they can't play that card again unless they reduce it somehow, mana wise. So yeah, actually I'd say. Gary says, years from now, this will call problem problems from discovering improved secrets, fails to discover any secrets in arena, mark my words. Yeah, I on honestly, I true. We're gonna have like Gungar issues in the future, I swear. <laughs> All right, next one. Uh, four mana, four mana spell. Sorry, I, I couldn't read that for some reason. Uh, spring the trap. So deal free damage to a minion and cast a secret from your deck. Honorable kill, cast two. So secrets aren't something we typically pick in arena. So this isn't like the best thing in the world. And it's free damage to a minion. I think if it, if it was just deal free damage, it may be more viable because we always like that extra face damage. I'd say two stars. I'm not, I'm not a fan. It's okay. Free mana minion, the Ram Tamer. I, I love the flirty look. Um, So she is a free mana for free. Battle cry, if you control a secret, gain plus one, plus one and stealth. Again, secrets are not going to be a massive thing in Arena. Still has fairly decent stats though. And if you actually do get a secret to pull off with this, then that's very strong. I really wonder if Arena is going to look like in four years. I think it's very optimistic of you to assume they won't accidentally delete Arena in four years time. <laughs> like they're already hiding the mode, you know? Who knows what they're going to do next? I don't know, it's just an average free mana for free. Three stars, I guess. It's just, it's just a card, right? All right, next. Re five pets. Free mana spell. Oh, look at the little foxy. Anyway, uh, discover a friendly beast that died this game and summon it. it it's, it's okay. I'm gonna go two stars because it depends on the beast, right? And there's a very big potential, like, if you notice, there's a lot of death rails at the moment um, where they summon, like, smaller version of the beast you've just killed. So you may end up resummoning that instead of the one you originally wanted. So, yeah. It, yeah. 
that's what I'm thinking, Dawson. Like, you're thinking, oh, could go for the taunt bit. But imagine if it only lets you discover one of those two fours, or maybe a crappier beast that you played earlier in that game. <laughs> and Gary says, in four years, the game is decided on turn one with coin flipper, one mana, one one flip a coin, and if his heads win the game, tails lose. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that already the case, though? It's like, if you go first, you're more likely to win than being seconds. Isn't there, like, a whole statistic on that? <laughs> but anyway, um, next card we have is a 9 mana 5 4. Wing Commander Ichman. Uh, battle cry summon a beast from your deck and give it rush. If it kills a minion this turn, repeat. Okay. Ah. So you need beasts. If it kills a minion, you can actually repeat it. Is it, is it terrible? Why do I feel like this card's going to be better than we think it is? No, no, think... <sighs> think of this, alright. You summon a beast from your deck. You summon, I don't know, a vanilla 2-3. Okay? You're up against somebody who has a two or less health minion on board. You attack in with that beast, and now because that beast killed that minion, you get an, it tries to summon another minion from your deck, well, another beast from your deck, and gives that rush, and then that minion gets to have a go. And that minion could be a better high roll than the first minion. Am I, am I going crazy? Do I, am I the only one that thinks that could this could be better than it actually looks? I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. Spare yourself from being a half dash. Oh, thank you. See, Gary believes in me. I'm giving it two stars, just to spite chat. But also because it could also be really terrible. But it could also be really good. I, I don't know. I think it's one of those cards you have to play before judging. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Next card. Two mana spell. Dun Baldar Bunker. So at the end of your turn, draw a secret, set its cost to one, last three turns. This is a this is a one star card, right? Yeah, I agree, Gary. And Dawson says, um, with the previous cards, um, you only agree if you draft this and only pick you. But even if you pick like normal size beasts, your opponent's not going to have only. I think of this more as a board filler than anything. That's just me. One <laughs> zero. See, it's it's f one to five stars, but I, I, what zero is acceptable? I think. Well, not if you value trade negative one. All right, next card. Uh, two mana, two, two weapon, Bloodseeker, honorable kill, gain plus one, plus one. Ooh. Ooh, chat. I like that. So if you kill something with two health, it will become a free two. Then if you kill something with three health, it become a four two, I think. This is insane. Hey, filtering. I think that I think this is actually. You think this weapon will be banned? I think this has a definite potential to be banned. Definitely, f I'm gonna say four point five out of five stars. <laughs> Why am I giving nothing five stars? I don't know. I'm like too scared. This is actually insane, though. The thing is, you have to honourable kill it, right? F to get the effect. But it's still really, really good. Oh, I can imagine Gary. But I think your opponent and yourself can play around it, right? Like, if you notice your opponent has this um, weapon on their person, you can potentially play a minion that has less or more health than this weapon can deal. <laughs> Just walk the opponent and they can't swing. <laughs> True. All right, so that's all of the Hunter cards. Uh, so four minor spell, Arcane Brilliance. So add a copy of a seven, eight, nine, and 10 cost spell in your deck to your hands. So copy of a seven, eight, nine, and 10 cost spell in your deck to your hands. 
I don't know. I don't like it. One star. I don't know what the other spells are, though. But, like, you kind of waste a whole turn play in this, right? Well, half a turn play in this. And you can't cast these spells that you've just copied until the next turn. So, for me, it's incredibly slow. But that's just me. Yeah, Gary, I agree. I think the weapons, the hunter weapon was just insane. But no, thank you, negative one. Yeah, I think this is just one star. I, I don't like it. It's just the way I see it. Uh, next card we have is a one mana 2-2, two, two, Shiver and Sorceress. Reduce the cost of the highest cost spell in your hand by one. Um, Since when did the one mana 2-2s two, need a text? When did this become a thing, chat? <laughs> like even if it didn't have this text it'd be like oh cool one mana two two but it's like ah uh, you know reduce the cost of the highest cost spell in your hand by one you know because why not isn't there like a there's just so many remember like before cards like this used to have a downfall because they were overstated <laughs> So funny. I wonder how many sets until we get a one mana free free. Oh, that's a fair negative one, but still. Anyway, next card we have is the Amplified Snow Flurry. So it's two mana, two free. Battle Cry, your next hero power costs zero and freezes the target. Absolutely insane. This is a four star card for me. The fact that you don't have to play the hero power this turn as well is amazing. And it freezes the target, so you can pause some minions. It's a common. I love this card. Such a fun freeze effect. You think the brass wing might get banned? Ooh. I don't. I can't remember which one brass wing is, but I bet we'll come across it eventually. Hunter weapon. There's another one as well, but I can't remember his name. It comes later. Okay. But yeah, no, this card, 4 out of 5 for me. I think this card's really, really powerful. I think freeze is going to be very important. All right, next card. Oh, shit. Um, nine mana spell, Rune of the Archmage. Uh, cast 20 mana worth of mage spells at enemies. I don't know. 20 mana worth of spells? It's okay? I don't write this card as zero free no matter how many times it's off, it says negative one. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say three out of five stars. It's probably worth more, but the randomness just kills me. Alright, let's go. Next one we have is a portrait eight mana, Magister Dawn Grasp. Battle cry recast a spell from each spell school you've cast this game. Okay. And what's the hero power? Arcane burst, hero power, deal one damage, honorable kill, gain plus two attack. Huh. That's cool. <laughs> so I was like, if you dislike puzzle box, hold my beer. <laughs> Oh god, that is so funny. This is a funny card, to be honest. But hopefully we don't have to deal with that. Alright, anyway. This one here. This hero power is actually really annoying. So you can just keep gaining damage from this. Oh, a box would be able to cast that spell. That's true, Dawson. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad they are epic. I'm glad this is an epic. Like, I'd be so annoyed with this card. This card's okay. I'm going to give it three stars. I'm a bit skeptical about that. Um, all right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, this card. I saw this card the other day. Seven mana arcane spell, mass polymorph. Transform all minions into one, one sheep. What was the point of taking polymorph out of arena, out of mage for this to be a thing? <laughs> How did this happen? Insane, by the way. Like, 
say your opponent has a really big board full of minions, and they're very sticky minions as well. They like death rattles. Like you don't even have to target them. Like even if they're non-targetable minions, this still does what it needs to do. This is actually a five star for me. They still get the one ones. I'm sorry, but I'd rather they have the one ones than like really scary minions. <laughs> Compare this to Psychic Extreme though. Yeah, but they get the cards back with Psychic Extreme. Like these cards have just been turned into sheep and sheep are bloody useless. I can say that with confidence as a Welsh person. <laughs> so I got dead, yeah. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, I actually think this is, I think this card's gonna be insanely strong. Like, and it's only seven mana. So you're saying they're gonna have one once, well, well, if they have, like, an arcane explosion to finish off everything else, you know? Like, it's kind of just... it's stupid. Alright, next card. Ice Blood Tower. So, at the end of your turn, cast another spell from your deck. Lasts three turns. This is an easy zero. Like, I know I know, I said I was ranking them one to five stars, but this is a zero. Like, you just... I would not touch this with a five-foot pole. Belinda Stonehearth. Uh, six mana, five, five. Battle cry, draw two spells. Swap their costs with this minion's stats. In arena? Nah. Not in arena, right, chat? Yeah, it's for constructed. Um, I would say two. Two stars, just in case. Yeah, it's true spells, right? So the fact that you get to draw two spells is nice. But say, for example, the spells that you draw are like less than five mana. Their, their mana cost is going to get increased to five mana. And her stats are going to be shit. So, you know. <laughs> five mana secrets. Yeah, living the dream. <laughs> Freezing potion on health. <laughs> I love that. That is such a funny. Oh my god! Could you imagine that? She would just die. would she? She would just die, right? Oh my god! I wanna, I wanna make a constructive deck just to test that out. Yeah, the the meme potential is hilarious. All right, <laughs> this next card. So free mana frost spell. Build a snowman. Anna has brought Olaf into Hearthstone. Someone said Hearthstone's turning into a Disney thing. This is the proof. Anyway, summon a free free snowman that freezes. Add build a snow brute in your hands. Um, okay, build a snow brute. So oh yeah, by the way, let's have a look at the snowman. He's cute. Uh snow brute. Uh build a snow brute, summon a six six snow brute that freezes. Add build a snow Gree into your hands, okay. Also, this is what the snow brute looks like. Mm hmm. He looks charming. Um, and then build a snow gree, summon a 9 9 so gree that freezes. Oh, they have a top hat. I think they look very, I think they look very fancy. Oh, snow gree is pronounced like ogre. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Snogra. Okay, Snogra. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, you never know. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we can start a trend chat. Um, Snogra. I can't do it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Um, this card's really fun though. Um. English, yeah, English is hard, okay? It's not like I'm from the United Kingdom or anything. <laughs> right, um... Yeah, it, it gives it gives, it gives you value and all of that. Um, I'd, I'd say, like, four stars. Okay, cool. Siphon Mana. Two mana arcane spell. Deal two damage. Honorable kill. Reduce the cost of your spells in your hand by one. And as Dawson says, this is definitely a worse ignite. I don't like it. One star. I don't want this. All right, let's go Paladin, because Paladin has some very fun and interactive cards that we should definitely look at, chat. 
Okay, so next card we have is a five mana weapon. So free to cavalry horn, uh, death row, some of the lowest cost minion in your hand. So it's basically attack and bring a minion from your hand. I don't think it's that bad. Um, it's not amazing though. I'd say two star. The only reason it's not less is because one, it's a weapon and two, maybe by the time you play this, you can get rid of all of your small stuff in time to like make this worth your while. But yeah, I don't think it's amazing. Next card, uh, three mana spell, hold the bridge, give a minion plus two plus one and divine shield, gain to lifesteal until the end of the turn. I actually think this is pretty good. Uh, so hold the bridges, I think this is pretty solid. I would probably give this a four out of five stars because the heal can be very strong. The divine shield gives you the value trade and the buff is permanent, right? I think this is very, very strong. That's the way I see it. Okay, next card, five mana spell, protect the innocents. Oh gosh, we we have we have to we have to protect chat, protect the other sets. Right, no, I'm kidding. Um, summon a five five defender with taunt. If your hero is healed this turn, summon another. Hmm. Yeah, it's a five mana five five, right? If you get healed, cool. But if you don't, I think it's just a two star. The reason it's not less is because it does have taunt, so that's something. <laughs> Yeah, six mana, you can heal your face with Voodoo Doctor, play this, and then get two 5-5 five, five taunts, that's true. Also true Dawson, if you play true silver on four, play this on five, that could also be very insane. Yeah, so there are, there are ways to play with it, but it's not like an instant pick, right? Alright, next one. Uh, three mana, three one, stone half indicator, battle cry, draw a spell that costs three or less. Um, it costs zero this turn. That's cool. So if you wanted to draw a sp no, I actually think that's okay. Don't think it's amazing, but I think it's all right. Like it draws a spell. You can play it this turn if you wanted to. I just don't like the one health. <laughs> what about my persistent discount mechanic? I know, right? Imagine having the text this turn in this, like, set. Oh god, my voice. My throat. Remind me to fill up my cup after this. Um, well, after the piloting cards. I, I think this is okay. I'm gonna give this a free. I think it's pretty good. It has the draw value. You can play the, the card right away, but if you don't have the spell that's free or less, then you're kind of stuffed. One health plays around most honourable kills, true, apart from that Warlock card we saw earlier. Um, Alright, next card. Two mana spell, Vitality Surge. Draw a minion, restore health to your hero, equal to its cost. So this is amazing with Flipper Penguin, right? Wait, no Og Merchants? Oh, Dawson. I was almost in a good mood for this rotation. Why do you have to ruin it? <laughs> I love Augies. Yeah, more synergy with the five cost spell. I think there is always going to be a little bit of synergy, but whether or not you want to try and force that synergy is a completely different thing, right? Yeah, this card can be pretty bad. I'm going to give it one star. Like, the fact you can draw minion, cool, but it's just... Ugh, no. No, 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 no. All right, let's go to the next one. Eight mana spell, right? This is a very, very fair card chat, okay? So it's an eight mana nine seven. It's a dragon. It's called Brasswing. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all enemies. Honorable kill, restore four health to your hero. Very, very fair card. Um, yep, very fair. Nothing but fairness here. Uh, I can't see anything wrong with it, you know? Very, very nice fun card. <laughs> Sorry if my throat keeps going by the way. <laughs> Everyone crying. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I would give this a five star. This card's kind of stupid. All right, next card. <laughs> yeah, Geddon's crying now. <laughs> All right, next card is a legendary. Three mana, two, two, rush. Sidon the Scarlet. Well, See, when I think of Scarlet, I think of a redhead, not red armor, but anyway. 
Uh, rush, whenever this minion gains attack or health, double that amount, wherever this is. Oh, that's cool. So even if you like buff it whilst it's in your hand or whilst it's in its deck, it actually gains double the stats. So this is actually really, really fun. I like this card. So say you play this and then you hand of a Dal, instead of giving it plus two plus two, you're actually giving it plus four plus four, right? I think it's pretty good. If you don't have a buff though, pretty air. Oh god, blessed of authority. No, <laughs> Dawson, don't. Don't give me that. Ugh. Right, I'm I'm just gonna give it three stars and move on. The only reason for that is because you do need a buff. And I never get buffs. And that always makes me sad. Okay, next. Alright, so we have another very fair, fun, and interactive card called Templar Captain. It's an 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight rush. After this attacks a minion, summon a 5-5 five, five defender with taunt. Yep, again, very, very nice, very fair, um, practical, not toxic, as Dawson says, not at all, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I draft this too, Gary, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this card's just a 5 out of 5. Like, what are you going to do? It's just so stupid. All right, next card we have is a spell. Four mana spell, Dun Baldar Bridge. After you summon a minion, give it plus two, plus two. Last three turns. Wait, what? After you summon a minion, give it plus two, plus two. Last three turns. So for your next few turns, where you play minions, they just get plus two, plus two. Well, Murloc Pally, baby, says Frodo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to work out this. This in arena, this will be even in arena. This is actually kind of insane. Yeah, hero power is a free free as well. So even if you can't use all of your mana in your hands, your recruit is a free free, and it's high commitment unless you're ahead. But it's like I don't know. I feel like you can come back next to with plenty of taunts and stuff if you can, or rushes. I'm going to give this four stars just because, like you said, you, you need to be a little bit ahead, but it's just, that is so stupid. Anyway, next card and the last one. Seven mana uh, portrait, Lightforge, Cariel. Battle cry, deal two damage to all enemies. Equip two five immovable objects. The hero powers give a random minion in your hand plus four plus four for two mana. That's disgusting. And the immovable object is this doesn't lose durability your hero takes half damage rounded up again we're probably not going to be able to draft these but we're probably going to be able to discover these this is uh a five yep cool right next next card we have is a two mana spell called bless give a minion plus two health and set its attack to be equal to its health huh huh that's fun um i'm gonna say four stars that's just really stupid. Because usually in arena, you just, you prioritize health, right? This on a priest, one mana, one four. Yep, yeah, that's why I'm just going to say four stars and go with it. <laughs> that's so stupid. All right, next card is also a holy spell. Give to the Naru. Restore free health to all characters. If any are still damaged, draw a card. Didn't we get rid of Cleric because that was just too powerful? Because Priest Drawing is not a good idea. Didn't anyone learn from that? But I guess they still have to be damaged, right? But it's all characters. So, like, say you and your opponent still, like, damage quite a bit. Then you're still going to draw two cards. <laughs> oh, God. Soul Priest Synergy. Oh, God. Bunny Synergy. Oh, God. Bunny. I miss Bunny. Yeah, you draw two most of the time, I reckon. I think it's I think it's okay. I'd, I'd give it three stars. I think draw can be very powerful, and sometimes you need the heal. So, next card we have is two mana one four luminous geode. After a friendly minion is healed, give it plus two attack. So we have a little bit of a combo here, if you manage to get those two together. Also, this with bless as well could be very fun. Oh, is there only draw one? Oh, if any are still damaged, draw a card. Oh, so it's not draw a card per one. Oh, I thought it'd be like... 
Oh, that's crap. Okay, two stars. Yeah, I'm dumb. Sorry. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm sorry, chat. That was my fault. All right, Luminous Ge Geode. This is okay, I guess. I give this three stars. I like I like the combo effect. I feel like this, yeah, it's fun. It, I'd say three star for this one. It's not game breaking. Next car we have is a Storepike Aid Station. I can't speak today. Three mana spell. At the end of your turn, give you minions plus two health. Last three turns. These spells are really good with uh, all these spell burst cards coming back again. I'm gonna give this free. I'm gonna give this three stars just because you you do waste a turn spending free mana. But yeah, this can be very annoying. Yeah, I I the reason I say three stars and not less because if you manage to stick this on a few minions, like it's just gonna ruin some people's days. I think the Paladin one's just a little bit stronger than this one, but it's still quite insane. All right, next card we have is a five mana five five, the Spirit Guide, Taunt, Death Rattle, Draw a Holy, and a Shadow Spell. So, stat wise, it's okay. It's not amazing, but the value of drawing a Holy spell and a Shadow spell from your deck is really 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 good so i would say this is definitely pickable i'd say three stars maybe 3.5 it's just the stats i can't go over and it's a common yeah absolutely i like this card all right next one is a free mana holy spell deliverance deal free damage to a minion honorable kill summon a new free free copy of it this is disgusting imagine like you using this on a proto drake or something this is really gross. I'm just going to give it four stars and move on. I think it's really... Ugh. I don't want to see this. I'm not having this. Alright. Uh, then we have Zyrella the Devout. Uh, Battle Cry, trigger the death row of every friendly minion that died this game. Um, what is your hero power? Holy Touch, restore five health. Flip each turn. Hero power, deal five damage. Wait, what? So if you do somehow manage to get this, very, very strong. I'm just going to go five stars and move on. All right, next card is a four mana legendary Najak Hexen. I don't know. Uh, one four, battle cry, take control of an enemy minion. Death Rail, give the minion back. So doesn't matter how much attack this minion has. Um, so say you take control of the enemy minion and it dies whilst... This is still alive. Does that mean you can't give that minion back? So essentially speaking, if you kill off the minion you just stolen before this dies, then the death rattle doesn't really do anything. It's much better than Moat Lurker. Yeah, you take rush minions or you would take um, a taunt, right? With this, that would be like the way you do it, I think. This is actually stupid. I'm just going to give it five stars because I actually think this card is broken. Yeah, you literally just take them. This is just mind control on a stick for four mana. <laughs> and if you can silence this as well, that's even stronger. All right, let's go for the next card. Uh, six mana minion, um, undying disciple, three... Seven. Taunt. Uh, death Rail deal damage equal to some minions attack to all enemy minions. Okay, so a very, very, very annoying taunt. Yeah, no, if you get a taunt, four, four damage is not that easy to kill. Unless you're a certain class, but even certain classes, you do need that card, right? Um, Undying Disciple is absolutely disgusting, by the way. I'm just going to give this four stars. Like, it's basically like Tunnel Blaster, but the damage is dealt to enemy minions and not your own. And it costs less. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I think this one's just insane. This card, yeah, this one's four stars. The buff synergy, I know. So if this... Imagine uh, playing... Hold on, where is it? 
So imagine playing Bless on it, right? So that was a 3-7. So if you play Bless on it, it'll become a 9-9. Nine, nine. So it would like deal 9 damage to all enemy minions if you wanted to do something like that. <laughs> Age of the Blossoms is the same with 1 HP <laughs> more and no effect. Yep, true. True. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that really shows the power creep, right? Alright, next card. One mana spell, Shadow Word Devour. Choose a minion, it steals one health from all other minions. This is like a Void Hound of extra steps. It's really... It's just like, okay, Priest doesn't have Void Hound, so we'll build a Void Hound. But we don't take the attacks, just the health, which I think is still absolutely stupid. Big brain time, choose an enemy mini to be able to use Shadow Wood de Exactly. <laughs> I think this card's also insane. I'm just going to go for... Yeah, so no attack, just health. But it's a drain and whirlwind, in a sense. Like, it... So, your minion... Say, for example, there are three other minions on board. You will steal three health from those minions... And then the minion you choose to put this on will gain plus three health. It's really good. I think it's an easy four star. All right, so we're going to go straight to rogue, guys. So here we have contraband stash, five mana rogue. I'm praying rogue has good cards this time. I miss rogue being good. It's been a long time since rogue has been a good class. And I have a feeling it's still going to be the same. But let's have a look. Replay five cards from other classes you've played this game. <laughs> I just want Rogue to be good, chat. I just want Rogue to be good. One, yeah. Just one. Okay, let's go. Uh, three mana, three, three, double agent, battle cry. If you're holding a card from another class, summon a copy of this. That's a bit more doable, I think. Maybe not too doable, because obviously you have to get that synergy. I'm just going to say two stars. Two stars in the right deck. Obviously, this could be really good. Five mana, four, five. While poor null is a rush, costs one less for each card you've added to your hand from another class. Huh. Cool. So even if you've, like, done this, even if you've gotten a card from another class once... It's a 4 mana, 4-5 four, rush. I actually don't think that's too bad. I'd give this a 3 star. I think this is very viable. And this is added to your cards. You don't even have to play it. You don't even have to play the cards you found, right? You could just add them. Yeah, almost a gyrocopter. Just worse. <laughs> I actually think this card's pretty decent. I'm still going to try and make Rogue work. You know I am, chat. You know I am. Alright, next card. R Reconnaissance? I'm going to... Yeah, I think that's right. Um, Two mana spell. Discover a death row minion from another class. It costs two less. It, it's, it's okay. Technically speaking, they might as well just make this a zero cost card. But um, actually, no, it's quite good to bank the minion for next turn with this effect, right? So again, I think this is actually pretty decent. I'd say three stars. I think this is okay. Okay, Cold Tooth Yeti, three mana, one five, combo gain plus three attack. So you could actually coin into this. So on turn two, you could just coin into a Yeti. I think that's very fun. Usually with rogues, you try to draft really cheap decks, right? But I feel like this may not work out so well. Sometimes. Yeah, turn two, yay. I'm still just going to give it three stars, though. I, I'm i a bit sceptical about it, about us always being able to combo it. You think you need a fairly cheap deck to make this card work. Alright, next card we have is a two mana two two, the Lobotomizer. Lobotomizer. Is that how you say it? Lobotomizer. That is a horrible sounding name. Anyway. Honorable kill, get a copy of the top card of your opponent's deck. That is very fun. I like that. 
This card is trash in ranks, but I like the thought of knowing what my opponent has at the top of their deck. Because it gives you an idea of how to play, right? I, 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 it's fine. I, I don't have to read this out loud. I'm just going to say this is a freestyle card and move on. Right. <laughs> five mana, five, five legendary, Carathine, Fleet runner fleet runner sorry uh battle cry replace your minions in hand and deck with ones from other classes they cost two less i'm sorry did you just say rogue is not fun how fun is this bloody cards can't wait till you end up with it in every deck yeah i'll just say oh that weapon <laughs> instead of the actual name <laughs> i love this five stars i don't care i don't care if this gives you really bad cards i don't care five five stars for fun i like this it's this a perfect meme it's for farm level of troll exactly but it's not legendaries it's pl replace your minions in hand and deck with ones from other classes so you still get to keep your rogue spells and the minions cost two less and the thing is right with the minions it's not all legendaries, because let's be real, right? You don't want all legendaries, because legendaries can be fairly useful as on their own. But other classes have some really, really great minions. So I'm actually quite excited for this. It's totally random. Think of all the garbage you'd be getting. I don't know. I, I am going to draft rogue as much as I can to prove you wrong so I can get this. We'll look at a card that replaces replaces deck and hero power oh what is that called it's a two mana spell isn't it i think i know what you're on about you'll regret this one so far you do you underestimate how well i can high roll now in all seriousness i think this would be i don't know if you have a shit deck three stars if your deck's actually good then probably a two star card right that's it gary uh renounce darkness all right next card all right, two mana, two, two, Forsaken Lieutenant. Stealth, after you play a Death Row minion, become a two, two copy of it with Rush. I love that. I love that. This is really fun. Um, I would give this four stars. I actually think this is decent. Because, like, it has stealth, right? So even if you can't play your Death Row card... This turn, next turn you'll be able to. Unless your opponent has like AoE or something, but you never know. I think a lot of the times you will be able to just push this up, pull this off. Okay, next card you have is a seven mana uh, portrait, Shadowcraft of Scabs, Battlecry, return all minions to their opponent <laughs> owner's hands. Summon two, four, two shadows with stealth. And the hero power is a zero mana sleight of hand. The next card you play this turn costs two less. I actually think this is insane. This is Vanish. Oh my god, chat. It's it's Vanish with an upside. Oh, imagine how annoying this card would be. I love this. I'm going to give it four out of five. This is really fun. <laughs> exactly, like Misty. Right, next card. Uh, three mana spell, snowfall graveyard, your death rattles trigger twice, last three turns. Now, I don't think this card's really good. I'm just going to give it one star. <laughs> what do you mean? I love this for a five for Tega. Four is a really good number, okay? I think it's really, really good. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, first card we have is a spell. It's called Frostbite. It's two mana, deal three damage, honorable kill. Uh, your opponent's next spell costs two more. So deal three damage. So this is not just to minions. This could be reach for the opponent's face. So that's cool. And yeah, that is super annoying. Your opponent's next spell costs two more. So, say for example, your opponent's getting ready to set up an AoE, like Lightning Storm. Well, tough shit. You can't play it anymore. That's, like, really stupid. I'm gonna say four stars. Easy. Alright. 
Next card we have is a six mana spell. Uh, Glaciate? Discover an eight cost minion, summon and freeze it. Hmm. See, we, we need dragon, is it dragon breath? I swear negative one told me this the other day. We need that card back. Horrible if you get a taunt, unless you get a taunt. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Or if you taunt it up, live in dragon breath. That's it. I was close. I was close. So that's the main thing. Really depends on the eight cost card, right? And there can be some really crappy ones out there. I'm going to give it two stars. Just because the freeze really, really, really is rough. I don't like the freeze. Yeah, is that the unfreeze minion? That's not going to be in, unfortunately. That's what I was going to say. If that was in, I'd be very happy, but it's not. Hey, Kojo. I will now eat and watch you whilst I'm eating and think things while you're playing and I'm eating. Aw, thank you, Kojo. Thanks for hanging out. We're just reviewing the new set at the moment. Uh, discover an ACOS minion. So I'm assuming it can be from any uh, class. That's right, Dawson. I think. Yeah. Must be. All right. Next card. Uh, Sleep Breaker. Uh, two mana free to battle cry. Add a wind chill to your hand. So wind chill is a one mana spell. Freeze a minion. Draw a card. Huh. That's actually not bad. That's really good to have for like late game. I think. Negative one says you can only discover from your class in neutral unless it says otherwise. Ah, right. Okay. Fair. Negative one. Or the minion that eats others, the end of it. Oh, that's horrible, Dawson. True. So any things that like have um, anything that has like an effect at the end of the turn is really good with this. Free shaman's gonna be a thing. Yeah, they're really pulling up. They're really pushing free shaman at the moment. Um, I'm gonna give this three point five stars. I think this is really good. So two mana, free two. Plus you get a spell, which means that you have some um, spell burst synergies. And the freeze draw a card effect is actually pretty strong. Okay, the next card you have is a five mana free free snowfall guardian battle cry freeze all other minions gain plus one plus one for each frozen minions. Freeze all other minions. So you can just freeze the opponent's board. Because why not? The flavor text on the right. You're finally awake. That four looked really bad. Demon hunters, mercenaries, what are you talking about? Come on, I just unpacked a golden Morabi. Let's go build a free shaman deck. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> this is an elemental as well. So if you have elemental uh, discovery, you can discover this too. Yeah, no, this this card's actually bonkers. I'm just going to give it five stars because I think this card just sets up so well. Oh god, is Shaman going to be good? Ooh, I like Shaman, so it'd be nice to see Shaman be good again. Uh, okay, so next card we have is a spell, four mana spell, Wild Paw Cavern. Hello, <laughs> Ibera to go, we need you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. That's like a Bowmaster won't be in. It makes the ball feel much less intimidating. True. I agree on that. I'm glad Bowmaster won't be in. Yeah, I miss like Royal Librarian. I think I keep saying Org Merchant should be part of the core set. And I wouldn't mind Librarian being part of the core set too. It's just a nice card. Right, anyway, uh, four mana spell, Wild Paw Cavern. At the end of your turn, summon a free four elemental that freezes last three turns. So for the next three turns, you get a free four elemental that freezes. Hmm, it's okay. I don't think it's amazing though. I'd probably give it two out of five stars. Like, I just don't like wasting a whole turn playing something like this. Yeah, I'm going to miss tradable, to be honest. I think tradable was such a good mechanic. For you, it's a free, Gary? That's fair enough. I think this is a free four. It's actually still pretty good, but... Yeah, it's okay. Ah, and then we got Windchill again. Free as a minion, draw a card. I actually think even without a minion attached to a stick, this is actually really good. 
Uh, Dawson says, this card is nuts, in my opinion. Get a War Elemental or two HP less, and it's four mana. Yeah. I just, I'm just wondering how I feel about playing four mana on one of my turns for it. But I guess I, I see your point. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Okay, well, I'll do is then. I'll put this at three stars. He convinced me. And I think Windchill's actually about a three star card as well. I think Freezing Minions is just so stupidly powerful. And you get to draw a card, which is something I feel like uh, Shaman severely lacks in Arena. So I like it. Okay, next card we have is a Cheaty Snowball. Three mana f Snowball? <laughs> Cheaty Snowballed. Uh, three mana, three, four. After an enemy is frozen, deal free damage to it. I'm really glad this is an epic. Could you imagine comboing that with the Snowfall Guardian? That is actually crazy. Um, let's give this a free star. Nice stats as well. Yep. There's a lot of free shaman spells for sure. Yeah, I think this would actually work out pretty well. And there's some really fun combos. Shaman will be infuriating to play against. I'll think of it this way, right? Say, like, for example, you have Caravan. So you have a free form board. Someone plays a 6-6. Six, six. If you shove a snowballed on board and then trade that free four into that minion, you just killed off a six six with a free four minion. Okay, that's a very specific <laughs> way of explaining it, but you know what I mean. I don't know if it'll be worse than priest, but I think the freeze effect's gonna be very annoying. Right, next card we have is a portrait, so it's an eight mana one. Brucan of the Elements, call upon the power of two elements. Okay. So, let's have a look at the hero power first. So, call upon a different element every turn for two mana. Um, so, you've got Earth Invocation. Summon two, two free elementals with taunts. You've got Water, restore six health to all friendly characters. You got fire, deal six damage to the enemy hero. Lightning is deal two damage to all enemy and deal two damage to all enemy minions. This is what the Irvin Guardian looks like. Um, oh gosh, got enough. Oh, these are the hero powers as well. Oh god, deal two damage. To so all of these just swap all the time. Oh my god, that sounds really fun. Very high rolly though. I'm gonna say four stars. Okay, next card, Snowball Fight. Free mana, deal one damage to a minion and freeze it. If it survives, repeat this on another minion. Oh, oh what? <laughs> I love it. I really, really want to see how this card looks whilst being played. I love that. It's just a freezing whirlwind, yeah. But it stops if it does kill a minion, though. I think this is just three stars. This is just going to be so annoying. All right. And the next card we have is a seven mana six six legendary called Biren Glacier. Battle cry for each frost spell you've cast this game, summon a 3-4 elemental that freezes. I actually think that's very strong considering what we have at the moment. I'll, I'd say 4 star for this. Uh, Frodo says, if you don't kill an enemy, you have to freeze friendly minions. True. But, like, you would you would consider that, wouldn't you, before playing it? Yeah, exactly, Zyra. It's a freezing bouncing blade. Yep. Yeah. That's the way it would work, Dawson. But to be honest, I think it's still funny. I think this is hilarious. I think this would work very well. And yeah, I like this card as well. Oh, right. So that's the Shaman cards chat. I'm really excited for Shaman. All right. So the first one we have for Warriors, a four mana three five, Axe Berserker. So it's a rush, honorable kill, draw a weapon. I actually really like this. Like drawing a weapon is huge. I mean, huge. Um, I would say, and it's a rush, it has decent stats for it. It's good even without the draw, I think it's just a free star. It's just really, really good, I think. 
Next card we have, oh gosh, stop telling people where I live. Right, uh, Glory Chaser, three mana, four, three. After you play a Taunt minion, uh, draw a card. That's, it's okay. I think a lot of times this is just gonna be a three mana, four, three. Just give it two stars and be done with it. It's just an air card. Um, so honorable kill is when you kill a minion for the exact amount of damage needed. So if your opponent has a minion on board that has free health and you kill it for exactly free damage, that is an honorable kill. A non-honorable kill is if you deal more damage or less damage. So yeah. It has to be the exact amount of damage. Yeah, so you you can't overkill it. It has to be the exact amount of damage for it to be an honorable kill. I kind of like it. It means the effects are a bit more random, right? After you play a taunt minion, draw a card. Uh, yeah, two. Uh, next one we got is a two mana spell, Ice Bloom Garrison. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to all minions and it lasts three turns. Right, so you really have to bear in mind how you want to play with this card because this deals damage to all minions. So this includes your own. So you need to be very, very careful with how you trade for the next few turns as well. Because if you value trade, and you forget this is going to be a thing. This could be, yeah, kind of silly. Frothing Berserker, true, true. I would probably, I'm going to give this two stars. I think it's just too easy to, this is too easy to misplay with. I can see many people that aren't me that are going to misplay with this card very, very badly. Mm -hmm. I think end of the turn still fine. Because it lasts three turns, right? So it's every... So it's the end of each turn. Yeah, I'd say two. Yeah, for me it's a two because I think if you use... I think you can do stuff with it, but you have to big brain it, right? You have to big brain it, which is really annoying. Right, next card is Shield Shatter. So 10 mana spell. Deal five damage to all minions... Cost one less for each armor you have. Nah. I'm gonna give it the um I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and give it like 1.5 stars. You never know, maybe sometimes. But I really don't like this card. It's shit. <laughs> you you never have arena. You, arena? You never have armor in arena. So it's just like ugh. Alright. Next card you have is to the front. It's a spell. Two mana to the form. Your minions cost two less this turn, but not less than one. Yeah. Just play minions instead of spending two mana on this. Yeah. To the form, uh, one star. Just, it's just awful. Um, next card we have is a three mana two four called Scrapsmith. Uh, it's a taunt. Battle cry. Add two two four grunts to taunt to your hand. So it's just going to be like a, um, kind of like a buff, it's kind of like hand buff taunt warrior again, isn't it? They're trying to bring back maybe, I don't know. It's okay. What do the grunts look like? Wow, they're very scrappy. Um, I guess it gives you value. I would say three stars because it's nice to have extra cards, but they don't really do much, you know. Okay, next card. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, Dawson. Fishy, fishy flyer um, victim. Seven mana, uh, portrait, battle cry, equip a 5-2 unstoppable force. Uh, the unstoppable force is a seven mana weapon. Um, after you attack a minion, smash it into the enemy hero. Oh, wow. And the hero power is deal two damage, honorable kill, gain four armor. What the hell? I I think um This is just a five, right? That's just so stupid. I love the fact this I, I wanna see this animation. That's so fun. Alright. Next card we have is a legendary. Six mana six six. Captain Galvangar. 
Battle Cry, if you have gained 15 or more armor this game, gain, gain, <laughs> game, Ch gain plus three plus three and charge. Oh gosh. Um, so this again, it's arena. This is a lot of time going to be a six, six. I'm just going to say two stars and move on because it's not really going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> Dodo says, honorable kill your own hero to die with armor on honor. Exactly. Wait, can you draw with unstoppable force then? I don't, I don't know. After you attack a minion smash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Some of these cards are just so these these are just cards on crack, I swear that's what it is. Um so we don't know Kojo. It's very likely that they're not gonna be enabled in arena, but sometimes you can discover but sometimes you can discover hero cards. So it's worth going through them just in case, you know. Yeah, they won't be in arena, but you probably sometimes you can discover them. Because, you know, Hearthstone is a very, very non-buggy game that has no bugs at all. That definitely always does the things it should and definitely does not do things that it shouldn't. Uh-huh. They, they, should, they should make me the spokesperson. I'd be very good at that. Anyway, uh, two mana spell, Frozen Buckler. Gain 10 armor at the start of your next turn. Lose 5 armor. Okay. If I could give it less than zero, I would. Cool. <laughs> Technical vote just neglect, true. Uh, yeah. Like, Arena is kind of like the middle child, right? They just don't want to pay attention to it. Okay, so we've got three mana spell, snowed in, destroy a damaged minion, freeze all other minions. So it's like an execute with freeze put in. That's really good. I'll give this a four. Next card we have is, so all of these are neutrals now. Uh, five mana, four, seven, blood guard. Whenever this ta minion takes damage, give your minions plus one attack. So whenever this minion takes damage, give your minions plus one attack. What? I'm so glad this doesn't have rush. But trading with that on board is going to be so annoying. I guess you'd have to try and kill all the other minions first before you even tackle this. But yeah, very annoying. I'm going to say... Because um... the thing is, right, if your opponent doesn't kill it on their turn and you can attack with it next turn, you can play a bunch of minions and then attack with this. And then you end up giving a bunch of minions plus one attack. Yeah, and th and this this also gets plus one. I'm just gonna say four out of five stars. Stupid. All right, next card: three mana, two four, bunker sergeant. Battle cry: If your opponent has two or more minions, deal one damage to all enemy minions. Yeah, there's so many meta defining cards, Siren. It's just so stupid. Um. Again, another very insane card. F I'm just gonna say four stars out of five. Uh, next card we have is a three mana two five, uh, die wolf commander honorable kill summon a two two wolf with stealth. Oh, and it's 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 this one again. It's this little cup again. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, I'll give this one a free star. All right. Yeah, five stars for cuteness, but three stars for the actual card. Uh, next card we got is a three mana, three seven beast. Oh, they're definitely getting the value of the cub heart. They must have paid a lot. <laughs> uh, five mana, three seven beast. Frantic Hippogriff. Rush, honorable kill, gain wind fury. Oh, it's like a gyrocopter. So if you get honorable kill, you can attack again. Better not get those kit honorable kill on purpose. You never lose your cu cute cub. Yeah, I I probably would be too, I'd probably be too sad about losing my cub, with uh with this one. <laughs> I think this is actually pretty decent. I'd say three stars, 
Because you may not always get the honorable kill, right? But if you do, it's very strong. Yeah, you can clear a crap ton of two frees and free frees. I think I think it's very good, Gary. Uh, next card we have is a four mana free free false wolf. Uh, wall master costs one less for each card you've played this turn. Right, so say for example you played a two mana cards. This would be a three mana free free. That's five mana. Uh, it, it's uh, it's okay, right? It's it, I'd say two stars. Depends on the type of deck. If you have like a very zooish kind of deck, it's okay. But if you don't, then it's like, ugh. it's quite crap. All right, next card is a two mana four two gangster <laughs> stealth. After your opponent plays a minion, attack it. I'm glad. To be honest, like org merchants would wreck this card. This is why we need org merchants chat. We need org merchants for the for the good of the arena economy, okay? I actually don't think this is that bad though. Actually no, yeah, two ones are wreck. I'm just gonna give it two stars. The only reason it's not one star is because occasionally your opponent may not have something to just sacrifice. And it could be very annoying. Yeah, the War of Legendary is lit. I agree. Um, Herald of Lokhola. Four mana, three, five. Uh, Battle Cry, draw a frost spell. This is going to be great in some classes and crap in others. Especially going to be great in Shaman. Frost Tutor for all classes. Yes. I'm just going to... Uh, it depends on the class. Like, if it was, if it was Shaman, it would be like four stars, right? But if it was a class that has really crap frost spells, then it'd be like two stars. So I'm going to go in the middle and just say free and move on. Uh, next card we have is the Humongous Owl. Seven mana, eight, four. Death Rowl, deal eight damage to a random enemy. Hmm. I don't like the health. <laughs> this is so terrible. I love it, says Dawson. <laughs> I guess... Yeah, those snipe lethals, that's the thing, right? It's like a way of randomly getting a lethal with this that has the potential of making this a bit better. When one's taking the eight damage, oh god, that's what would happen to me. But it can be really bad as well. Rogue double death rattle synergy, oh my gosh, yes. See chat, I'm gonna pick rogue so much to a point where I will make it good. And one day it's gonna happen. Oh yeah, Promo Drake will drop this. Oh my god. Ah. I don't know, it's just too unpredictable. I don't know how I feel. I'm gonna say three stars because I think you can make some weird form of lethal with this. I bet there will be ways to do it. But yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, next card we have is a four mana four five ice revenant. Whenever you cast a frost spell, gain plus two plus two. Okay, this is gonna be insane in shaman. Actually, there's a lot of frost spells with lots of different classes. I actually think this is pretty solid. I'm just gonna say three stars because even if you don't have um, a frost spell, it's just a yeti. It's actually okay. All right, next card. Six mana, two ten. Heist Oof Protector. It's a taunt. Freeze any character damaged by this minion. Oh, screw this card, man! Just screw these cards with the freezing and the ah. I don't like it. This is so annoying. <laughs> Chat, do you know what card I'm going to be drafting every time I see it? Alchemist. I feel like Alchemist is going to be so handy this meta. <laughs> I won't enjoy versing this card at all. Yeah. The next expansion better be fire related. Yeah, same. Yeah, we, we need Alchemist so badly. 
Frozen minions. I guess three stars because the frozen effect is just annoying. All right, next card. Woman and one, two. Iron Deep Trog. After your opponent casts a spell, summon a copy of this. <laughs> I like that. That's really cute. Oh, Alchemist is definitely one of the best designs ever. It's one of my favorite favorite cards in arena and it's won me so many games i've always said this if i see an alchemist i'm very highly likely to take it replac <laughs> replacto imposter <laughs> yeah it's not amazing isn't it it's a one two though so i give it 1.5 stars could be worse all right and this card we have is a cobalt taskmaster oh it's greg davis I feel like non-British people are not going to get that. But anyway, um, three mana, two, four. Uh, Battle cry, add two armor scraps to your hand. They give plus two health to a minion. And the armor scraps are one mana. See, if they were like zero mana, this would be better. But I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, chat. I'm not a fan. I'm going to give this two stars... It's just, mm, nah. All right, next card. Zero mana would be broken. I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Three mana, two, eight. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually, no, fair, fair, fair. Okay, fair. I'm sorry. I just realized. Okay, true, fair. Still two mana though. I, I, a two star. I, I'm not a fan. Um, <laughs> next card we have is a four mana three five. Korak the Blood Rager. Death roll. If this was an honorably killed, resummon Korak. Now, when it says honorably killed, has to be honorably killed. Uh, honorably killed by a weapon or a minion. Spells don't matter or hero powers don't matter when it comes to honorably killing something right so yeah so you need to deal exactly five damage to this otherwise this comes back to life it's very annoying unless it's a spell then with you can cast multiple spells oh spells that damage can honorably kill oh from all sorts someone told me the other day it wasn't spells Someone told me spells was like the exception. Oh, so spells as well? Oh, fudge this. This card's stupid. I don't like it. Rusty Raider's gonna be gone soon. I know, I shouldn't listen to random people on the internet. Maybe I shouldn't listen to you guys. You are figments of my imagination after all. Nah, I'm kidding. They probably meant removal, like death or execute, but communicated poorly. Yeah, true. That's fair. Alrighty. Uh, I'd say four stars. Uh, next card we have is a six mana nine three. Uh, Legion it. Death I'll give all minions in your hand plus two plus two. Eh. It's kind of like that nine six, right? That gives minions in your hand plus three plus three that occasionally worked but didn't. It's okay though, I'd give it two stars. I just hate the lack of health, but I understand why it's the way it is, right? I don't know, Frodo, I don't know. Yeah, you'd have to remove it. That's that's the thing though, it is easily removable. But with, like, with all the free spells and stuff, I feel like this isn't as threatening. Like, there's a lot of frees right now. I, there's so many cards that would normally be threatening, but because of all the freeze effects, I don't... I think the freeze is actually going to be a lot more annoying to deal with than anything. Anyway, next card we have is a free mana 4-1 Piggyback Imp. Death Rail summon a 4-1 Imp. I like this card. I'm going to give it 3 stars. I actually think it's pretty decent. Uh, remember the 4 mana 5-1 that resummons a 5-1? Now, don't get me wrong, that wasn't that popular, but we don't have Org Merchants in our meta anymore. So... This is okay. Now, don't get me wrong, there are cards that deal one damage more frequently now, but I think it's still okay. Alrighty. Next card we have is a 3 mana 2 4 Reflecto Engineer. 
Battlecry swap the attack and health of all minions in both players' hands. <gasps> Alchemists! <laughs> okay, maybe not alchemists is the way we want it to be, but that's fun. <laughs> I would pick this just to annoy my opponents. And it's a common, yep. <laughs> The thing is, like, it, it does it to your own cards as well, which just makes it so funny. Like, this is, like, the ultimate troll card. Imagine if you play it, right, and then your opponent plays their own. That would be quite funny, too. <laughs> yeah, me and Gary on the same page. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a three stars. I think it's hilarious. It's probably not three stars, but I, let's just go for it. You might actually just help the opponent with their card. True. Like, imagine the owl, right? The owl, what's the owl? A 7-4 or an 8-4? With the death rattle, the humongous owl? Then you swap the attack on health on that, and that suddenly becomes a lot more terrifying. Yeah, it comes a 4-8. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually kind of hilarious. All right, next one we have is a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two Ram Commander. And the battle cry is add two one one rams of rush to your hand. That's actually really good. I really like it. A little bit of value. Um, I'd give it three stars. It's always nice to have extra minions in your hand, and you can swap it. And hey, you can swap the attack of health of the battle ram, and you can get a one one instead of one one. It's great. Um, <laughs> God help me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 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 still I'm still hooked up on that. Um, right, next cards. I uh, got a free mana, free four, snowblind harpy. Battle cry: If you're holding a frost spell, gain five armor. Oof. I love the armor. I love the. This is probably going to be stunning in gold. I bet the golden art on this is going to be so pretty. But it's a pretty vanilla card overall. I'd just say three stars and be done with it. Next card we have is a 4 mana 2 6 taunt. Uh, Stormpike Marshall. If you took 5 or more damage on your opponent's turn, this costs 1. This is actually going to be really good with certain classes, especially classes like Demon Hunter and Rogue, where you can actually take that much damage, like on purpose, to do something like that. Yeah, it's like a mini Lions card. It's okay. Depends on the class, right? I think it's still two stars. I think a lot of the times you're still going to play it as a four mana two six. It's it, it really depends on how you're going to play it. All right. Next card we have is a two mana two two. I think it's going to be self damage, but do you do it on your opponent's turn? Oh, right, on your opponent's turn. Crap, if you took five or more damage on your opponent's turn, this costs one. Oh, crap, I'm sorry, chat. I'm tired. I'm tired. I guess three stars then, right? If you're up against somebody that's fairly um, aggro, this is really good. It's a good defense, I think. No, Gary, I just misread it. <laughs> This is why I wanted to do it. I, this is why I wanted to do the car review on chat because I do misread things very easily. Uh, it's because I'm paying attention to two thousand things at once. Next one: two mana, two two, Stormpike Quartermaster. After you cast a spell, give a random minion in your hand plus one plus one. It's really that. Uh, that's that's crap, right? That is a very like. I hate how understated it is. I'm gonna give it one star. Yeah, it's a bad card. Alrighty, I'm sorry if I'm going quick now. Just, I just, I know you guys have somewhere to be. I don't want to keep you too long. All right, uh, four mana, four four tower sergeant. But I'll cry if you control at least two other minions. Game plus two plus two. I really, really like this. Obviously, it does require you to be ahead, but I think it's cheap enough to pull this off. I'd say three stars still. I, I feel like some type, certain classes this may not pull off all the time, but overall I think it's still good. <laughs> Do we? I thought this was the endless arena car review stream. <laughs> True. No place to be except here. Aw, thank you, Dawson. But no, I, I need to go to bed eventually. 
<laughs> Next card we have is an 8 mana 8 8. Troll Centurion, rush honorable kill, deal eight damage to the enemy hero, because that is all fun and games. Um, I would say, to be honest, the fact that it's just an 8-8 eight, eight rush, I just give it four stars. Think it's all right. Don't really care about the honorable kill. Because Devil Swords us eight mana, seven, seven. If you look at it that way. This is a weird one. You might want to debuff your minion for the honorable kill. Yeah. That's the thing, right? Yeah, you should sleep at some point, Monster Hiss. We're almost at the end now, but I'd rather you sleep. Now this is how you kill yourself after playing pro right? right? <laughs> true, true. God, could you imagine that playing Proto Drake and then just someone playing this whilst you have eight health? Oh, I'd hate myself. All right, next one we have is a two mana free two sneaky scout stealth honorable kill. Your next hero power costs zero. Ooh, I like that. I'd say three stars. It's okay. It's all right. I like the thought of having a zero mana uh, hero power. Um, I got two mana two free corporal. Um, honorable kill, give your other minions divine shield. Ooh. Ooh. Three stars? No, four stars. Yeah, if you can't clear it, you're stuffed, right? I think there would be a case, like, if someone played this on turn two, but you can't kill it back, and you don't want to risk that honorable kill... You may end up just not playing a minion at all because of it. Just so they can't get the honorable kill to give their minions, like, divine shields. I think that's so disgusting. Like, there'll be a lot of mind games with this card, I for sure. Alright, next card. Four mana, six, seven. Frozen Mammoth. This is frozen until you cast a fire spell. So just pick this when you're mage, right? <laughs> and I feel like you should be able to... Can you silence this? There must be a way to silence this. Or you can taunt it up. Owl, yeah. I'm going to give it two stars. But I feel like there are some classes that could pull, can pull this off. Oh, is Librarian coming back? See, when I say librarian, I mean the two free one. The silence is adjacent minions, <laughs> not the not the tradable one. Are both librarians are leaving? Ah, damn. Inside voices, please. Damn, I'm sad. It's really cool though. I like the art on that. All right. Uh, I think that'll be out. I think that'll be gone as well, Gary. Yeah. Okay, this card's going to be super annoying. Three mana, three, three, Popsy Cooler, Death Rattle. Freeze two random enemy minions. Now, I thought this was a battle cry, but it's actually a Death Rattle. So, not as scary as I initially thought. So, you can play around this if you're smart about it. But I still think it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a three out of five stars. It just means you have to trade properly, right? Which I always do and never fail at. <laughs> right, next card. 10 mana AA, low collar, the Ice Lord. Rush Wind Fury costs five less if you have 15 health or less. I think this is an easy four star card. Reason I'm not giving it more than, oh, actually no, I'd say five star, right? Sod it. Like, even if you have to pay 10 mana for it, it's Rush Wind Fury with an 8-8. But, like, getting to 15 health is very easy for some classes. So, I can see this being 5 mana for some people. It's so stupid. Alright. Next card we have is the free mana for 2 Grim Toad and Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Battle cry, destroy an enemy legendary minion. So yeah, so basically you play this, you manage to value trade, keep it alive, and then your opponent plays this and you cry and go about your day. Um, I, I think like it's not gonna happen, right? It's it's a four two as well. I hate the stats. I'm just gonna give it two stars. You're not gonna see legendaries that often. 
Can't wait for this to execute Sarah or some other crazy stuff. True. That is a good that is a good um that is a good call. But I wonder if we're gonna see a Sarah as often when certain sets go out. That's the only thing. Oh crap, wait, no, studies is coming back, right? Cause Scholomance is coming back. So we're gonna have studies again. Which means Draconic Studies are going to be back again. Huh. That's fun. Cool, 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 cool. You heard it here first, chat. Priest is going to be number one, unless they nerf it to the ground. Right. Next card we have is a fun man of free four spammy arcanist. Battle cry do one damage to all other minions. If they die, repeat this. Like, I think we can all agree this is just a five star card. This is like Defile on a stick. This card's so stupid. <laughs> this card could go away for good. They were just like, you know what? Let's take something away from Warlock and give people this card instead. It's just... Uh, not fun. All right. Next card. Uh, one mana legend... Well, one mana legendary. One mana one one. Uh, Ivus, the Forest Lord, battle cry, spend the rest of your mana and gain plus two, plus two, rush, divine shield, or taunt at random for each. Oh, yeah, aggro decks are going to be, going to have to really, really push in standard and constructed, I think. I think. I don't know. I don't play that mode, so I wouldn't have a clue. This is really fun, though. I would love to get. I would love to get this. So the rest of your mana gain plus two plus your rush divine shield or taunt at random for each mana crystal. Oh my god, this is so fun! Imagine if you keep constantly getting like rush divine shield taunt and not get the plus two plus two at all. <laughs> you spent like ten mana on a one one <laughs> rush. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is actually kind of hilarious. I'm gonna say. I'm going to say three stars because I can't imagine the odds of that, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all random for each mana crystal. So there is the potential it could get the same one again, I think, which I think is really funny. All right, next card we have is the eight mana three five, very, very fair card called the Abominable Lieutenant. At the end of your turn, eat a random enemy minion and gain its stats. I think this card, um, I think this card may get banned in Arena. I can't imagine them letting this be a thing. I look forward to my 10 mana one more divine shoe. Yeah, it'll be beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, this 8-8 is absolutely unfair. 8-8, uh, uh, eight, eight. this 8 mana card's just unfair. It's a 5-star card, of course. Because the thing is, you tar you target the minion you want to use this on, right? This has to be banned. Yeah, Gary, I think this card will get banned. If they don't ban it, then we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to um, make a scene... Brass, which one's Brass Wing? Have we been to Brass Wing yet? I'll have a look because we're almost at the end now, aren't we? Uh, five mana, three, three, Night Captain, Battle Cry, deal three damage, honorable kill, gain plus three, plus three. I think this is very doable. I'm going to give this, um, I'm going to give this four stars. This is definitely doable. So many things have like free health. Oh, the Dragon Baron Geddon, right. Yeah, I think. I think this is stronger than that, in my opinion. Just by a little bit, though. Just by a tiny smidge. The dragon's still nothing to snuff your mind about, you know? And the thing is, like, the dragon, you only have to worry about paladin. This one, it's, like, all classes. But, again, it's an epic. So you... Well, actually, no, the dragon... Is the dragon a legendary or is it a rare or an epic? I don't know. But it's... Yeah, you're just more likely to see this one more than the dragon, I think. Anyway. Uh, I said four for this, because like I said, this is actually quite doable. 
Um, one mana, one free, gnome private, honorable kill, gain plus two attack. I actually think this is really good for the early game. I, I think for early for an early game card is a very high free. I'd give this a three and a half. This is actually kind of adorable as well. I love the art on it. Um, oh, this card. Uh, four mana, four, four. Vandar, Stormpike, Battlecry. If this costs less than every minion in your deck, reduce their cost by three. Now, when I first saw this card, I thought, oh, this is really cool. But then I realized you, you have to draw this card for this to take effect. And I was like, ah. This is like at the bottom of your deck. You're absolutely stuffed. So for me, this is like a two star card. I don't like it. I'm not a fan, especially in arena. It's like two star because it's a four mana four four stat wise, right? Meanwhile, you have this one. If this costs more than every min in your deck, summon two of them. Obviously this is a constructed card. So this is not going to work out in arena. So again, two stars. But I was comparing these two cards the other day and I find this one much better because you can easily do a zoo deck with this. And it doesn't and you don't it doesn't require you drawing this card to actually make it work, right? Yeah. But yeah, chat, that was all of the cards. Also, I'm just gonna say goodbye. Uh, this is Sofa Plays. Thank you so much for watching this video, however long it ends up being. Um let me know what your favourite card is down in the comments below. And if you actually enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Only if you want to, though. This was Sofa Plays, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!